What's up guys, back with another video, and today I'm going to be playing some more Erdibur 3. In today's video, I'm going to be playing on the map Silent Hill in a PvP battle. So I'm starting off with a normal um, boost, two barracks, and two supply. So I'm moving through the map, collecting as many crates as I possibly can. Um, getting a good, uh, getting honestly a very good crate collect because um, my opponent, instead of when he produced his um, soldiers, he um, he didn't send them immediately out here because. I had guys at his base by the time he um, got a, a single soldier out. And at this moment, he starts to send in a lot of riflemen. And he tried getting the crate behind my base, but fortunately, my guy got there just in time. But he starts just masking up a huge army at the sale. He already has seven guys here. And more coming. Like, he's masking up an army right next to my base, which... I don't understand why he did that, but he did. Um, so I built a bunker there just for safety and start mass producing because I don't want to be infantry rushed immediately. So because he did that to me, I do the same thing to him. Um, and and um, right here, he sends in three infantry because uh, he wants to even them out. And here comes his send. So I just want to point out um, how useful Confederation Infantry's grenades are, because my bunker's not even done yet, and I have, let's see, one, I have five, I have six soldiers, and he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so it's, he has twice as many soldiers as I do, and I start engaging him, and look how this engagement turns out, with six soldiers against twelve soldiers, I kill every single one of them without taking a single loss. I didn't lose a single soldier. And he lost all 12. So he uh, ca recaptures this flag as I still control these two flags. So it's even right now. Um, I have a 5 supply using boost so I can save up to um, for level 3 headquarters. Um, and I also did uh, figure out that if I use a gold boost with um, a gold boost with uh, my normal seven supply, I do get over a thousand uh, credits a minute. So he sends in a more infantry um, to capture this fact. So now he's winning. Um, I'm not winning, but he's uh, we like tying, I guess, up the uh, flag control. So it's just tied. Um. This the there's a weird thing though um, by this where it's like I'm I'm still gaining um, flags even though we both have two, but um, that's just my opinion. So I um, finished my level three headquarters and now I'm getting a vehicle factory, which I probably should have done earlier, but I didn't. So it's whatever. He sends in um, a single infantry to uh, capture this flag, but. He um, can't because he was just trying to scale. Um, so I'm massing up more infantry and then um, getting another construction yard so I can expand uh, my base even farther. Um, I have six guys at this flag, or sorry, I have seven guys at this flag and um, six guys at this flag. So if he were to send on either one of them, because this guy right now, he's wanting to send, um, it seems, a lot of riflemen. So I get an anti-air tower because I have no idea what he's playing right now, which I would if I scouted better. But I upgrade, my, or not upgrade, I start building my uh, air and air factory and he sends in another scout to see how many guys I have on this one. Now upgrading that um, air factory to level two. Um, go my usual seven supply centers over here, so I um, make more income. Because right now with six supply and a red boost, I make eight ninety seven. 
I start producing my jets and get another power plant because I am uh, insufficient power. power. Um, so I get a second airfield um, and set three guys up here to patrol and two guys up here because I just realized that he could just send right through here and just start attacking my base from here. So I do that. I upgrade my vehicle factory to level two now so I can produce hammers. And now at this point it's a stalemate because um, we both have two flags and it's nothing's progressing. I get my third jet out, producing four. And at this point just waiting. We see some movement over here which was a single Russian to scout. And I sent in my full vertex. Which, what do we see here? So we see that my enemy has a level 3 headquarters. And a absolute massive army of coyotes and riflemen. And this is not it, it's all the way up to here. Just coyotes and riflemen. With three vehicle factories and one uh, barracks. So he obviously is rushing. Like, look at the scale of this, and he still has more guys over here. But he has a massive amount. And look, he's even sending in some more guys over here. Like, from, he from here all the way to here, he has guys. And all I have at this moment is this. So I start mass producing hammers and a rifle. Like, l hold on. Um, let's see if we can get a better place. Look at the mini map on the top left here. If you, if I can move a little, look how many red dots there are compared to blue dots. He has so many more guys. So, these, and, um, 13 minute mark, and I still haven't gotten a crate on the battlefield. That is great scouting. I upgrade to um, HQ4 at this point, and my, um, this is basically my cornered in rifleman. Uh, who are doing actually very well at taking on once again a massive army twice the size of them. Like this right here, this was this was seven riflemen against an entire like probably max DP level three army. So I'm continuing to mass produce, and at this point, I've gained up a big enough army that I'm not afraid of him anymore. Being the fact that I also have four vertex. He captures the third flag, so now I am losing uh, flag capture points. My level four headquarters finishes up, so I now have more CP. And I send in my guys to um, cause more damage to the, my opponent. So that's, that's watch this engagement. And look at that. Destroying it. I didn't even stand a chance. So I'm getting a, another air factory, another airfield at this point. And upgrade that second air factory to level 2 and get a third character. I captured the flag, so now I have three flags and I'm gaining uh, points. And then I get the uh, power plant so I can get more power, uh, so I can get uh, up to 12 jets. And I send in my jets plus this ground force to cause as much damage as I can. And this player is basically a spammer because he just builds so many things that he doesn't need. Like, he built three vehicle factories to produce coyotes, and now he built two special vehicle factories to produce porcupines. Which, I mean, yes, it is good, because he already has three porcupines up, and is producing more. So I take out that one of the special vehicle, and then I go for his units, which is going, which he's stacking up here, and I lose my first vertex. But I'm about to take out a second special vehicle factory, if I can. Because he's sending in his unit back. Come on, there we go. Got it. So I take out his last remaining porcupines. And now my enemy is not. Uh, or not. Yeah, cannot. Uh, 
Like that. And I keep a small force on my base. Um, if you were to attack, but he doesn't have another army to attack, so that's um, it. We're all set now. At this point, I've officially won, and there is no way that he can uh, actually come back from this, uh, unless you know I let him come back. But um, so yes, GG. Um, and now I'm sending him to the screen. So there's a good battle. It was honestly a fun battle. And uh, now because of uh, this battle, I'm closing down even closer to rank 16. I'm, I believe now, 22 stars away from rank 16. So, yeah, um, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.